Hi, I'm Susan Fleming, and today I want to introduce you to one of the programs that I recommend to my clients. This is a graphics program. It's online, it's simple, and you can make some stunning images with it. Best of all, there's a free version that you can sign up for. The free version does have some limits, and we're going to discuss those, but it's still very powerful. This free image tool is called Share as Image, and you can find a link at my website, www.vabox.com slash training, and here's a link for you. But let's go see what this is all about. Here we are on the shareasimage.com website, and uh, as you can see, they have a little uh, training video running that goes pretty quickly. I'm going to try to go into a little bit more detail for you here. But if this is your first time coming to Share as Image, uh, what you want to do is click this button right here, click to install the bookmarklet. And when you click that, it opens up a new little page and it gives you this image and it tells you, it shows you, just pull it up to your um, favorites bar. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag it right up here into my favorites bar. And it says, do you want to add this? And I'm going to say yes. And so now it's here. And um, unfortunately, my um, Internet Explorer doesn't show the image of Share as Image. Uh, but some of, the other, um, some of the other browsers do. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take it for a spin now that we've got it there. Uh, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for Bible verses about joy. And I'm going to pick this link right here. I've already checked it out. And all you have to do is highlight some text on any web page that you go to. And I'm going to Pick this first verse, Romans 12, 12, Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. And we're going to turn that into a shareable image. So I'm going to come up here to this link, and it's going to pop up and say that it's preparing, setting everything up for us. And there it is. It picked that text up that we highlighted, and it put it right in here in this interface. And now you can see the cursor changes to that um, different kind of arrow, so we can move that around. And um, we have a blue background. Now we can change the color of the background by coming up here and clicking on this color. And we can, uh, you know, make any change that we want in the color here. If we want some kind of a purple, then we can come over here and you know, move it around, pick whatever color that we want. So that's one of our options. Another option is to pick a photo. So there's a photo tab. You can see that right here. And this is the free version of Share as Image. And so there are some free photos up here that we can use. If you purchase or have purchased the Pro version, there are a lot of different images that you have to choose from and they add new ones every week. So you have lots of options with the images that they provide. But let's just go ahead and pick uh, one of these. We might pick this blue one. Uh, and so we have uh, some kind of a cloudy sky right there. We might pick this one. We can change just by clicking the image. And then again we can move this around and let's go ahead and modify that text. So we want to go back to the tab that says text. And I think I want to put each of those phrases on a different line. So I just put my cursor in there and hit enter and that moves it down to the next line. So we have all of those. Now I'm going to center it again. That's not the only option that you have with the text. Uh, you have uh, the ability to change the size, so you know you can do that. You change the size on it. You can also change the text color, just like we worked on changing the background color. Right now it's white, 
uh, we could bring it up here and make it uh, kind of match this other color down here. Uh, we could, you know, just pull this down and see all sorts of different um, options that we have. But I think I'm going to stick with white, so I'm going to pull it right back up there to the corner and go with white. Now we can also choose a different font. Uh, Share as image gives you a wide variety of fonts. Uh, as you can see, there's a whole list of them right here. Um, let's try a script. That's uh, Lily Script One. Uh, there's another one that I really like called Satisfy. That's a pretty script. And so you can do that and then maybe make that a little bit larger and pull it back over to center it. Maybe even make it just a little bit larger. And there it is centered. So rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Now we also might want to put the Bible verse um, in there as a reference. And we can do that right in this same box. We can go ahead and type something else. So I can type in Romans 12.12. 12. The problem that I have with that is that it keeps it the same size and the same color and the same uh, font that we have for uh, the regular Bible verse. And so I think what I want to do is put that in its own text field, and we do have the option of adding another text field. And we can edit that and modify it, change the styles as much as we want for that. So I'm just going to type that in there. And now we have that. And I think probably what I want to do is change that so that it's not a script, uh, but maybe just... Um... Okay, I've chosen the rocket script, and I want to make that a little bit smaller. And then I can move it around. I can put it over here. I can put it down here at the bottom. That's kind of nice. Um, you have lots of options with that. And again, you could even change the text color of that if you wanted to. You could put it right here and change it, um, change it to black. That's all the way down here in this opposite corner. Doesn't show up very well there. Um, maybe make it. Uh, pink, or we could just go back and leave it white, and then move it maybe off to the side. So those are some of the options that you have with Share as Image. You can choose an image to go behind your text. You could change, a plain, change it to a plain color background, but you also have some patterns. So let's go to the Patterns section, and um, maybe you would want to uh, just have have it on wood. You can change the color again once it's there. Uh, here's a, kind of a rainbow color that you could choose. Um, yellow. These are some of the backgrounds that you have, the patterns that you have uh, in the free account. And again, if you have the um, pro account, you can choose all sorts of different ones that they have in there, and they continually add new ones as well. Let's go back to that photo because I want to show you some of the effects that you can get. So here we are back with our photo. And they have a filters section. And if you go to that, you can change it to black and white. Uh, you could put it back and blur it. You can change the colors to some different options. And again, uh, as with, uh, with the previous sections, the photos and the patterns, you have a limited number of filters that you can use uh, in the free version, and you have some additional filters that you can use in the pro version. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that by just going back and clicking on the original image again. I'm going to switch to a different browser and show you the pro version. Uh, And we're going to create uh, an image a couple of different ways, and I'm going to show you how to save it and share it. 
and the saving and sharing works the same way whether you're in the free version or whether you're in the pro version. So I'm going to just close this for right now and switch to a different browser. Here's the Share as Image site again in Google Chrome and uh, if, if you are using Google Chrome you uh, install the program the same way. You click on Install the Bookmarklet here and then you can pull it up into the um, Favorites bar as you see I've already done that. It also has an option to install an extension for Google Chrome. The Google Chrome extension allows you to uh, directly select an image from the internet and use that in the image that you create with Share as Image. And that's pretty neat. So let's go to Morg File, which is one of my favorite um, free image sites, and it's morgfile.com and you want to choose this free photos option down here. When you do that you'll see there are lots and lots of images. They just they just keep coming, you know, just beautiful, beautiful images. Um, stunning even. And so you can choose to pick one of those images um, so I'm going to pick this one right here and uh, I'm going to click on it to open it up now I have a couple of options I can download this image to my computer and save it uh, and then I can upload it in Share as Image, and I'll show you how that works uh, in a minute. But this Google Chrome extension is really pretty neat because I can come over here to this picture, and I can right-click on it, and I can click Share as Image, and it should pull it right into Share as Image. And there it is. So I've got that beautiful image right there and it's already put some text on it and I can um, uh, I can move that around and I can type something in there maybe consider the lilies of the field and then maybe I'll add something else down at the bottom are you not more valuable than these so we've got consider the lilies of the field and then I think I want to take this and instead of centering it I want to put it off to the side are you not more valuable than these and then I'm going to pull this off to the side like that And then you have uh, an image just that quick, and of course you can change the font, and you can change the color of the font, and you can um, do some, use some of the filters. Personally, I like the images just the way they are, just, you know, bright with their normal colors. But there's a time and a place for filters, and you can certainly do that. Now, you may have noticed in the other browser when we were working with that image that the share is image logo was down here and that's true on the free account you'll have that um, that logo uh, right there and you can't get rid of it if you have the free account they've branded it for themselves if you have your own account if you've purchased an account then you can get rid of that watermark and to do that you just come up here to the watermark section and you can see that it's off. So originally it would have been on and the watermark that would be showing would be the one that was right here, the share as image. In order to get rid of that, you just upload your own watermark. Now I have one on here that's a watermark for my uh, blog and so I'm just going to pull that off to the side over here so that it's not real um, noticeable. And the way that you uh, that you put your logo right there is you create 
um, usually a PNG file that is uh, transparent so there's no background on it. The background of the picture shows through. For myself, I created one in white and one in black, so depending on the background of the image that I'm using, I can either have a white one or a black one. Um, and then in order to, to uh, access that, you just click Upload Watermark, and you can drag the file right there. So I have, uh, I have those files set up here. Here's the black one, here's the white one. I could just drag it over. into there and it uploads it and then it puts it in and actually it just replaced it with itself because uh, that was the one that I was using anyway. Now this one is a medium size. You can also change the size of your logo. You can make it large so you can make it stand out more. Uh, you can make it small so that it's very teeny. In this case you can't read it. So I'm going to go with the medium and I'm just going to pull it down here. When you're ready to save your image and share it, you have a couple of options. So you just come over here to the Save and Share button and click on that. Here's your image. Now you can share your image directly if you go to uh, Facebook or Twitter, or Google+, Pinterest, whatever you want to do, you can click those buttons and share it directly. Now I found out yesterday that if I were to click on the Facebook button and share it, that it would take all of this text that I've put on there uh, in the program and it would add that as a comment on the Facebook post. Um, I would prefer not to have it do that, and so what I do is I download the, uh, the image. And so you can download it as a standard image, or now you can download it as a high-definition Im high image, which gives you a larger image so you have more options about what to do with it. So I'm going to click Download, and it is downloading it right there. I'm going to show it in the folder. There's the folder. And uh, let's see. I'm going to just drag that over into my other folder so that I'll have it handy. Um, this one right here. So I'm just going to drag it right over here. And there's our lily. And now I can take that image, that Lily image, and I can upload that to Facebook. And so I think I'm going to show you how to do that. New tab, Facebook. So here's my Facebook. And I don't want to just add a regular comment. I want to click this button up here that says Add Photo or Video. And so when I do that, it says Upload Photos and Videos. And so I'm going to click that. And it's going to open my um, Explorer. And then I can choose the image I want. Now, uh, you may have to search for your image. I have it set so that mine goes directly to this folder. And I'm going to click on that. Open it. And there's the image, and then I'm going to just type something in here about that. And post it. And then it shows up nice and big. It's really pretty, and as you know, images uh, when you when people scroll down the page on their Facebook page, what where they stop primarily is on the images. That's what draws their attention. So now they have this one to look at.
Another site that I like to get images from is called Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y dot com. And these are all free images that you can uh, that you can use. You can explore. I like to look at editor's choice. Just stunning, stunning images. Uh, page after page of them. Or you can search. So if we wanted to search for um, an image of uh, um, eagles, let's search for an eagle. You can see that there are lots and lots of eagle pictures, and these are down here. These are free for use. Up here, because Pixabay provides free things, they have to have some way of making some money, and so they've partnered with Shutterstock, which is um, a company that sells uh, royalty-free stock photos. And if you pick one of these images up here in this area that has the gray border on it, it will take you to Shutterstock, um, and you can pay to get that image. However, there are great images down here. This guy's kind of neat. And you can uh, you can download it right here to your um, computer. Or again, if you're in Chrome, you can just right click and choose Share as Image. So let's look one more time at the Share as Image interface. And if I just click Share as Image without anything highlighted on the page, it will just open it up and you can see the different pieces. It gives you, it starts with just a plain background. Uh, it gives you some text that you can move around. So you can add text. You can add two different text fields. Uh, you can change the font for the different uh, uh, text fields. You can have different fonts on different, uh, in, you can have a different font for each of the different text fields. You can change the size. You can change the color of the font. Hello. Uh, on some fonts, you can make it bold or italic, and it'll let you know whether you can do that or not. Obviously, I can't make this one bold, but I can make it italic, so it makes it a little more slanty, or I could take that off. You can uh, left align it, you can right align it, and you can center it. You can also choose a photo background, and these are the ones for um, the pro version. You can go to the filters, and you can choose some different uh, filters. I wonder what orange peel is. It's very orange. Here's Sin City, black and white. Uh, Lomo, uh, Vintage, Clarity, Hemingway. What do you suppose that is? Hmm, interesting. Or we could come up here to Patterns, and we could choose a different pattern. We could maybe choose that purple one, or um, this is a fun one. Um, it's that speech bubble. You can use that. Uh, you can do some stripes or some zebra stripes for those blue zebras. Um, or you could go back to Photos. You could upload your own image. And if we were to upload an image, wanted if we had an image on our computer that we wanted to use, we could click that, and we could either click Choose File, which would allow us to browse uh, to a file, or we could open our folder of images, and we could just grab one and drag it over. Now you'll notice just as I scroll through the images that I have here, not all of the images are uh, 
in landscape format. Some of them are um, vertical or portrait. Uh, some of them are more square uh, in shape. And it doesn't matter what image you bring in, share as image will adjust to the image size and shape. So what I'm going to do on this right here is I'm going to move this over to the side and I'm going to get rid of this one and go back to text. Get rid of a text box by just Xing out of it and then I'm going to uh, move this one down here to the bottom and I'm going to change it to maybe that and I'm going to type De Coloris. Put that right there. Maybe I'll move my blog link over here. Or maybe I'll take it off. I'll just turn it off. And it went away. And then to save it or to share it, you click on Save and Share. And again, you can send it either to Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter or wherever you want, or you can uh, download your image, either in a regular resolution or a high-definition resolution. Um, from here, you can click Create New, or you can click Go Back. We're going to go back because I want to show you something else. Uh, your images that you've created are stored. So... I have 19 images. In the free account, you can save uh, up to um, 10 images. So, for example, if I wanted to look at this one and change what it said, I could view it, I could edit it. So if I do that, I could uh, bring it, and it would bring it right back in, and then I could uh, make any modifications that I wanted to with it. And I could save it. And I could share it again, uh, save it, download it, or just save it to my images. That just about takes care of what I have to teach you with uh, Share as Image. Again, if you'd like, uh, if you'd, you'd like the link to that, you can go to my website va-box.com/training. I hope you've enjoyed this training, and I'm looking forward to talking with you again. Thank you.